Facebook Comedy Awards kick off tonight at 10.45 and you can vote for your wild card on rte.ie forward slash new comedy awards. Now though, it's Shortland Street. I like having you around. I like being around. Um, I should get going. <laughs> I forgot my roster. I'll just grab it. Karen, do you like me? Like? Because I think you do. I like V-twin motorcycles. You know what I mean. And Irish wolfhound hazelnut. Stop little. it. Go home, little girl. This isn't gonna happen. Being sacked is not the end of the world. Heading that surgical unit meant everything to you. Meant past tense, onwards and upwards. Chris. Truly. Apart from the occasional impulse to climb on the roof of Shortland Street and take out Callum Mackay with a high-powered rifle, I'm fine. Are you sure? Life is for living. This time I had more fun with Harry. Besides, I'm not unemployed. I'm between jobs. Exactly. Oh, leave that open. I just need to check my email. Sure. I'll let the shower. Then I'll bring up your hot chocolate. Sorry, you need to go. <laughs> you want me? No, I don't. You're not even my type. Liar. I prefer women over the age of consent. I'm 17. Yes, you're also staff and my employer's precious little daughter. You are way, way too young, so come on. No! Take whatever schoolgirl crush you think you've got and transfer it onto somebody your own age. You want me, I know you do. I only kissed you because I didn't want to hurt your feelings. But now I'm bored. So go on off you go, I need to look up. Go! <laughs> Idiot. Where's my hot chocolate? Sorry, I got distracted. Easily done. I was just thinking, you know, about job options. For yourself? Yeah. Don't want to stay at Shortland Street forever. Onwards and upwards. You have your career to think of, I suppose. And I could work here or overseas. Well, like we're back to London. Europe, even. I speak a little bit of Italian and French. Oh, pardon, je ne parle pas français. Je suis un idiot monolingue. So you, you really want to work overseas? Well, I'm young and carefree. Fair enough. What's happened? Nothing. You're upset, darling. I'm a parent. I got a license somewhere. So tell me. Just leave it, Dad. Daniel hasn't been acting like an idiot, has he? A bit, yeah, but it's sorted. <laughs> I'll sort him. Just leave it, okay, Dad? If it's over, I just... I just want to go and see Mum. Thought you said you didn't want to go right now. I've changed my mind. Okay, I'll try and arrange that. Tomorrow? Hunter's back, we could just swap. Okay, maybe. I'll try. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Come on, buddy, hang in there. How's he doing? No worries. 
LFTs are a bit up. Mm, to be expected. pH is okay though. Yeah. All the drugs I'm pumping into him. Am I killing him or curing him? You've given him a chance when he had none. But you've done all you can do for him. Only time will tell now, yeah? Yeah, it'll be a few days at least before we can expect to see a change. Knock off. Get some sleep. Yeah, sleep. Dream of Raro. <laughs> Don't. Wishing you hadn't given away those flights. I couldn't go, so... Oh, you're supposed to be on days off now. Want to slip up there, join Alice and your mate. Get some sleep. Our surgical got a call to take an MRSA patient. The problem is there are no single rooms available. I'll sort one in medical until something frees up. Better be good, thanks. We work well when it's work. Don't we just. Has your mother said anything about when she's leaving? You can't leave it alone, can you? I call it like I see it. She's the problem. You can't feel a little sympathy for her? She lost money to a dodgy plastic surgery outfit. No one died. Besides, why can't she stay with Rani and Vijay like she was going to? Because she's too ashamed. This has hit her really hard just when she was getting her confidence back. Not our problem. Fine. I'll ask her to leave. Will that make you happy? So, have you thought any more about spending some time with Rani and Vijay? It might help cheer you up. I cannot stay with them. It's when everybody will know about my foolishness. I just want to hide away. Scotty would prefer to have his household back, wouldn't he? He finds it hard to talk to me properly when you're around. I wish he knew how much I want the best for the both of you. I'm sure he does. I'll call Rani. If I leave tomorrow morning, is that all right? Whenever you want, there's absolutely no hurry. I'll make a start on the packing. You can give Scotty the good news when he comes home. I can't change a whole roster just for you. But my car won't be fixed till whenever. How am I supposed to get home after late shift? I'm sorry, but you have to deal with that yourself. We can at least try and swap Tracy's leg trips. I don't have time to run around because Tracy can't keep her car maintained. It's not her fault that it blew up. This discussion is over. Hey, it's fine. I'll sort something. You could have at least tried to help her. You could have kept your opinions to yourself. You're undermining me. I was problem solving. You were taking it out on her. You still blame her for Ty being back in jail. She is to blame for Ty being back in jail. Is Shopna still going this morning? Have I kicked my own mother out when she needed me most? Yes. Floral scented, nice. Well, I'm more concerned with the percentage of benzalkonium chloride. A lot of them only have 0.5%, but this has 2.5, so. Right. Well, it reduces the bacterial count to zero, almost zero. There's nothing on the website about viral counts, but, you know, one has to assume that if one is killing bacteria, then one is also killing viruses. What's wrong? Gerald, are you okay? You know, at home. Yeah, I'm fine. And Morgan? Uh, good, you know, coping. I'm really sorry about what happened. Yep, thanks. You'll be a great dad one day, don't worry. Well, you better tell Carol to pull her head in. Why? She's showing the newbies around, telling them the stories about Mad Maya. Oh, that's her words, not mine. Libby, meet our new nurses, Ada and Seth. This is Libby. Hi. Hi. Hi, I am the CEO's PA, and if you need to know anything about the hospital, just ask. How's your sister? Fine. I heard the guy deserved it, eh? Same. Has she gone to court yet? I don't believe this is any of your business. Yeah, Carol, this isn't exactly staff orientation, is it? Tracy's ex-cop, in case you couldn't tell. Let's move on to our emergency department, eh? Huckery ball. Are you okay? Fine. I can't just click my fingers and give you my staff. I only want one or two. What's going on? I'm down a nurse and I'd like one from here to help out. Why don't you try asking one of the unemployed nurses from your dodgy plastic surgery clinic? Okay, that's enough. I'll send you one shortly. Thank you. 
You back her over me after what she did? Brooke didn't do anything. It was the clinic that went bust. She conned my mother into having unnecessary surgery. Shobna chose to have unnecessary surgery. Either way, it's got nothing to do with here. Brooke needs a nurse. She needs a nurse. Pity you couldn't have spared some of this sympathy for Tracy. It's a pity you couldn't treat a professional request in a professional manner. G'day, traveller. Good flight? Yeah, so so. Hmm. How's your mum? Yeah, she's pretty good. I just saw Sophie on her way out. How come she suddenly had to go over there? Boy trouble. She insisted I get her the first flight out. So, Juzzy, she's happy? Yeah, I guess so. She's working pretty hard. Any leftovers? Yeah, in the fridge. Any word when she can get out of witness protection and come back home? She didn't mention anything. So did Sophie say what her idiot boyfriend did wrong? No, but for her to flee the country, it must be fairly big. I'll have a word with him. Leave that to me, please. Who's that little coffee girl of yours, Sophie? Don't know. Don't care. Uh, not his usual self. And neither are you. Look, I know why Scotty has a right to be mad at me, but why is he mad at you? Apart from everything I say and do, you mean? Yeah. You said you know how much of a tax refund I get by now. Mind if I get in? Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Hang on, I, I, I'm set out at the clinic, so if you wouldn't mind. We're all busy. Just because you're medical doesn't mean you're more important than anyone else in this line. I've got patients waiting. I'm not just pushing pens, okay? You still have time to check how fat your tax refund will be. You do not have the right to speak to me like that. Well, someone needs to. You think you can swan about demanding whatever you want, letting your clinic hair run down so you can do plastic surgery on the side, not to mention manipulating professional rivals out of their jobs. So no, you can't barge in. You will regret this. And this outburst happened in the middle of the cafeteria. Correct. Please explain. Dr. Freeman tried to bully her way into the queue. She got told. She didn't get told, Scotty. You publicly slandered her. Dr. Freeman could see you had up in court. That's up to her. I don't want to sue, but I'd like to make sure it doesn't happen again. Which is a perfectly reasonable attitude. I apologize for hints given by my remarks. Anywhere near satisfactory? Actually, I would like to know where the remarks came from. Do you see me as responsible for the Dumont Clinic's collapse? For your mother-in-law losing her money? Is that why your wife was so rude to me this morning? Is that what this is, Scotty? A family grievance? No. Then what? Call it a bad day. Anything like this happens again, and you will face the nursing board. And see someone about anger management, mate. You need personal help. We're supposed to be nice if someone has a mental illness, not laugh about them. We just have to get through this wee while. Well, I'm hoping I don't have to. Chris has had a job offer. Wonderful. Which hospital? The American Hospital of Paris. And I'm thinking I'd like to go with him. Right, of course. If he asks me, which he hasn't, hasn't even told me about it, I read it in his email inbox. You looked at his email? No. Well, yes, but not, not deliberately. There must be a reason he hasn't told me. He doesn't want me to go with him. She's gone. Is she okay about it? She pretended that she wasn't hurt, that her own daughter kicked her out. Yeah. So, what happened today? In the cafe, I mean, with Brooks. I spat the dummy. What did it look like? We're taking our personal problems out at work. It has to stop. We agree on that much, at least. I was wrong to lash out at Brooke, no matter what I think of her. Same, I guess. So... us. Can we have a night off arguments? I don't want to argue. I want to talk. That's all we do. I come home from another ten-hour day and I have to have some big, deep and meaningful. You just made me throw my own mother out so that we could have some privacy to sort things out. I just want to sit and have a beer. Can I do that at least? Sit! Have a beer! It doesn't stop us talking. 
There's things have been wrong with us since your brother arrived, maybe before. I don't know if it's depression or if you have a problem with anger. I do not have an anger management problem. Every time we get close to talking about your feelings, you get angry and then you run away. Literally. Even now I can see that you're itching to get into your trainers and run 20 Ks and I'm starting to... For God's sake, woman. Give it a rest. Where are you going? Well, you've made it really clear that there's no point in staying. So, I'm leaving you. I'll be back to get my things when you're at work tomorrow. Perhaps you should just go home, Gerald. Tell her how you're feeling. Maybe take her some flowers. Show her you still love her. Are you settling in at VJ and Rani's house? Oh, it is a lesson in humility, watching your insufferably smug looks. I'm sure they're delighted I lost so much money in cosmetic surgery. I left him. Left who where? Left Scotty. <laughs> I tried and I tried and I tried, but nothing works. I can't get through to him. I've had enough. I give up. You can't leave him. I just did. Does he hit you? No. Does he cheat on you? No. Do you still love each other? Probably. Then why leave him? Now of all times? Because he won't let me in. He won't talk to me. He won't tell me how he's feeling and why. Well, sometimes he can't. Sometimes there are no words. There are always words. Well, you will just have to try again. It was you who sent me home to Naveen, and that worked out well. He's even forgiven me for the money I have lost. And he said he really misses me. What can I do? Fight. Fight for love and happiness and snatch it back. Go on. Go home. Hey, Daniel. Have you heard from Sophie? Oh, nothing all day. I've seen like a thousand texts. Yeah, have you tried phoning her? Oh, of course I phoned. <laughs> Had any more computer glitches? Oh, no. Well, good now, thanks to you. You, we need a chat. What the hell happened with Sophie last night? I don't know. I didn't see her. Don't lie. She said she was with you yesterday. Oh, I was fixing Karen's computer at the bar. She was with me, but no, that's all. I didn't see her after that. Was... And what did you do to upset her? Upset her? <laughs> I... It's like talking to a lump of Play-Doh. Look, I don't know what you did, but if you do it again, I swear I will have you sent back to Samoa. Come. I was expecting to see Sophie. She's got a shift. Yes, I'm sorry, I was supposed to tell you. Sophie is staying with family for a while. It could be for a few weeks. It was a bit sudden, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. About before. I don't feel good about a whole pile of things. and I'm, I'm just under pressure everywhere. Work. Yeah. That's just life, but you don't take it out on your partner, you share it with me. I'm not going to stay unless we talk about what's important. I mean it. Okay. We should take the bikes up to Wood Hill tomorrow. <laughs> Harry has been honoured me to show him how to get major airtime. Like his ageing father is going to risk life and limb to give him a laugh. Are you going to take that job offer in Paris? Is this why we were parlay booing last night? I wasn't being nosy, honest. I was just shutting down your email and then I saw Paris job offer and I... You were being nosy? A little bit. I should have said, I sent CVs all over. One was to a friend in Paris, Gilles Bernard. I didn't mention it because I'm still thinking it over. I'd hate for you to feel that I was suddenly going to pack up and leave. I'm not. Oh, well, you could because it's your life and it's not like we're even... Well, I mean, I'm not even living with you. So if I was just to go to Paris, you'd be fine with that? Absolutely. You have to do what you have to do. It's a great opportunity and you shouldn't miss out because of someone like a girlfriend. You should seize the biscuit. Seize the biscuit? Yeah, you know, when you're around at someone's house and you're all eating biscuits and there's just one biscuit left and everyone's too polite to take it. So everyone goes home and the biscuit just gets chucked out. 
Well, you're right, I should seize the biscuit. Yes. You wouldn't miss me at all. No, no, not, not if, for example, you were to take me with you. I would only go if you went with me. <sighs> well, shall we have some dessert before you drag me off to Paris? Okay. <laughs> <sighs> it's not easy for me to talk about stuff like this. And trust words. Even when you use them? There's been too many words in my life. Too many lies. My dad about his gambling and drinking. My brother about what he's been up to. And my sister holding out on me. People making promises. And five minutes later, it's just, just all words. Just tell me why you're so unhappy. It's hard to explain. I went into the army and it was great. Chain of command, you know? Nursing, the same, chain of command. But family, is, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work, full stop. Nothing I do helps. I fail everyone. <sighs> They're adults. They make their own decisions. I know, but... And besides, you've got a family of your own now. Me. Yeah. Us. <laughs> Look how well I'm doing there. Well, we're an army. We're an army of two. It doesn't work with two. Who gives the orders? <laughs> okay, no army, just us. United we stand, divided we fall. Okay, ties in jail. That's not your fault. Your father is who he is. That's not your fault. A kiss. So stop talking about failing. Well, neither of us are going to get it right all of the time, but we will mostly. Because we love each other and we can share the burdens and the joys. And don't let what happens to other people wreck what we have. United we stand. Deal? Deal. Thanks, Shanti. In the first of a three-part series, Derek Mooney pieces together the clues to uncover the secrets of the Irish landscape this Sunday at half six as part of the RTE Goes Wild season on radio and online.